Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about the structure of pyrrole in detailed manner. We already know that the pyrrole is five-membered ring. That is one, two, three, four carbon atoms, and one of the carbon atom is replaced by the nitrogen. It is the structure of pyrrole, and nitrogen consists of lone pair of electrons. See here the structure of pyrrole is uh, can be studied in detail. Now let's let's study the structure of pyrrole in detail. See. Here you can observe that. Let's study the formation of the sigma bonds in the pyrrole. In pyrrole, the nitrogen atom and the four carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized. The first point here is, in pyrrole, the nitrogen atoms, here the nitrogen atom and the four carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized. Let's write the first point here. Here the nitrogen atom and the four carbon atoms are sp2. Hybridized. See, these sp2 hybrid orbitals overlap with each other. Here is the carbon; it is having sp2 hybridization, and this carbon is also having sp2 hybridization. They are overlapping with each other, and here also you can observe that it is the s orbital. S atomic orbital. Here it is s p two and it is s. Here they are also overlapping with s atoms of the five hydrogen atoms. Here the five hydrogen atoms and these s p two hybrid orbitals are also overlapping with the s atomic orbitals also. See here the s p two s p two. Sigma bond. Whereas here you can see here is the s atomic orbital, so it is sp2 s. Uh, so it totally becomes sp2 s sigma bond. So the total of which forms C is a carbon carbon bond, and here is a carbon hydrogen bond, and another e is carbon and nitrogen bond. And also nitrogen and hydrogen bond. These are the four type of bonds which are present in this pyrrole. Let's again revise what we have learnt here. See in pyrrole, the nitrogen atoms and the four carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized. The first point is that one. And these sp2 hybrid hybrid orbitals overlap with each other. We have seen this. These are overlapping with each other. These orbitals are overlapping with each other, and in addition to that, they are also overlapping with the s atomic orbitals of the five hydrogen atoms. Here are the five hydrogen atoms, and they are also overlapping with the s atomic orbitals of the five hydrogen atoms. So, total of which becomes the four bonds. That is, the carbon carbon bond is also present, carbon hydrogen bond is also present, carbon nitrogen and nitrogen. And hydrogen bonds are also present in the pyrrole. This is the structure of pyrrole, and this can be also written like this. So this structure can also be written like this. The total of this diagram shows that the formation of the sigma bonds in the pyrrole. Now, coming to the next part of this explanation, and now this part is completed. So now, coming to these two diagrams now. See here, each carbon atom and nitrogen atom possesses an unhybridized p orbitals, and these are perpendicular to the plane of the sigma bonds. See here, you can see this carbon is also having the unhybridized p orbitals, and this carbon is also having the unhybridized p orbitals, and this one and this one is also having unhybridized p orbitals. This nitrogen is also having unhybridized p orbitals. These p orbitals are perpendicular to the plane of the Sigma bond. So it is a plane of the sigma bond means here these p orbitals are perpendicular like this. So here you can see these are perpendicular. These are like this to the plane of sigma bonds. Here the next point is. Let's write the first point. The carbon atom and nitrogen atom possesses an unhybridized p orbitals. They consist of unhybridized. You can't see here, so let's write carbon and nitrogen are 
consisting of unidentified p atomic orbitals and these are perpendicular to the plane of the sigma bonds and the next point is the p orbitals on carbons contains one electron each and the p orbitals of a nitrogen contains two electron pairs see here two electrons e two electrons okay here you can see this p orbital is consisting of one electron on the carbon whereas this nitrogen is containing two electrons that two these are the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen that is the carbon consists of only one electron in the p orbital and nitrogen consists of two electrons in the p orbitals and the, those are uh, two electrons or lone pair of electrons and the next very important point here is that these overlap of these p orbitals produces pi molecular orbitals containing six electrons see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 the total is six electrons so the overlap of these p orbitals produces a pi molecular orbital so let's write this point here the lateral overlap of these p orbitals produces a pi molecular orbitals orbital containing it consists of six electrons and if it consists of six electrons in the pi molecular orbital we can also describe it as a sextet it is also the arrangement of this is frequently referred to as aromatic sextet it is aromatic sextet so in this diagram you can see the pi molecular orbitals containing six electrons or delocalizing here you can see this is the structure and this consists of aromatic sextet now this pyrrole shows aromatic property or it is also exhibiting aromaticity because this obeys ockels rule we already know that the ockels rule formula is 4n plus 2 if n is equals to 1 that is 4 into 1 plus 2 it will totally becomes 6 so 6 pi electrons are present here here you can see we have described it as aromatic sextet 1 2 3 4 5 6 so total of which becomes 6 pi electrons so it is obeying ockels rule also it is obeying ockels rule so it is aromatic or it exhibits aromaticity this is about the detailed explanation of the structure of pyrrole this is very very important i hope you liked my video please share with your friends thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel till now